Alright guys, welcome back. We are once again playing, and we should be on episode 2. Guadalupe. So the bastard you were after now, riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. And yes, he was working for Old Man Clown. Okay. Where's he going? I feel like dual pistols are the way to go I right came now. Upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising, being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! Holy! There. I did my best to help those poor bastards. <sighs> Feels since this has the most ammo though, it's like why not use it, right? Moments later the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. Oh no, you tell me how many. I'll just stand in this cactus real quick. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks were in hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apaches often do. Quick time event. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground and whatever else they had. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere. And there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on. Were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. Hold. So I'm supposed to do this. I feel like another weapon I could use. Come on, keep eating bullets right in your body. See, at the time, I was still pretty green and would often blunder into regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the Cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past these other assholes first. Oh my god, there's so many. What is this? Reload all sprinting. These are definitely not close quarters. The iron sight slows down time. What? I'll take it. I don't know. Jeez, how, I like how I only have a pistol, and I'm supposed to be taking down all of these guys. That was definitely a headshot, too. Let the... let her recover. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. See. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Shoot 
Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Run! Oh my god. It's like... I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. No one would ever fight you here. Oh god, run away. Run away. Oh shit. Just run away. Oh no. They were hunting me like I was game. Escape through the cave. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. Well, this game is pretty intense so far. I like it. Oh my god. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven. I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. Okay, over here. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. Okay. Nice. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the table. That was the worst throw I've time ever seen. Prey to become the Apparently it got people. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. <sighs> time. Alright, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. Alright. Oh, God, there's more of them. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Get out here. Sorry if you guys hear the noise outside. Oh god. <sighs> so, he's just... He just has a chain gun that apparently has like unlimited ammo. Okay, let's see the next. Heck is he? Alright, so, pro tip, if you guys are playing this, go up the right side. I don't even see him. Hold on. See, is there a another way to go? You really do have to take cover. 
He shot the cactus. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just me. Old man Clanton. Oh, do not go that way. So you can only put like three shots into him before he... Okay, this is how you're gonna do it. Once you get to the top, run to the left side. Then wait for him to stop shooting. Oh my god, I thought I got him. One more shot. Just wait for him to stop shooting, and then... There you go. Apparently, one of the cowboys made it out of there alive, and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the OK Corral. Sweet. It wasn't that hard, it was just that last area that you had to take a lot of cover. That was a little bit challenging. Gunfight at Sawmill. Alright. I'm down. A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. Should probably use our pistol as much as possible. So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brosh. Oh! Earth's coming! Get ready, boys. They're coming. Somebody kill him! Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise, and after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. Okay, use your rifle. So they murdered Morgan Earp, and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. How many of them are there? I see you another one. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. I'm not sure what that sound meant. Let's go. Yes, rifle ammo. Where's his body? Wait, where is his body? Wait, what was that? Did I just see something in there? No. Oh. 